the very first thing for me, Aaron, was um, started to save up a little money. And I bought a turnkey rental from Storehouse. And it was in Milwaukee. So that means somebody else found a property. They fixed it up. They put a tenant in it. And then it was ready to go. Like it was a ready to go rental property. And I bought that property with 25% down, scraped up the money, emptied the cushions from the couch, found all the money I had. And I put 25% down. I bought this rental that ended up cash flowing like $500 a month net, <clears throat> which was phenomenal. And I, I bought that house for $108,000. And then, and then I bought another one. So the first one, believe it or not, was Amex was offering these personal loans of $25,000. And if you were military, it was being, it was 0% interest with SCRA. So I create, I, I saw this on like Facebook and I thought there's no way Amex is going to give me $25,000 with no interest, literally zero. I just don't believe it. So I said, let me go try. Worst case scenario is I get this loan and it's, you know, whatever percent it is. And then I just immediately pay it right back. It worked. So I get this loan for $25,000, 0% interest, and I go buy a rental property with it and it pays itself off. So I created an asset out of thin air. Right. Meanwhile, to this, huh? yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, just be any, any military service member could do this at that time. Oh, no kidding. I thought that was just an officer. What was it? What do they call it? Like, no, that no. Job this, starter. No, it wasn't a job starter loan, Aaron. It was SCRA. Oh, okay. It, at the SCRA rules allowed you to go get a 0% interest rate on this particular Amex loan yeah. at the time. So it wasn't a Kickstarter loan, was not an officer loan. It was it was open to anybody in the service. When was this? This was probably 2019. Those were the days. Those were the days. And then 2020, what happens? COVID. Mm -hmm. In 2020, you could go into your TSP and take out a loan with no penalty because of COVID. Mm -hmm. So I was able to go get money out of my TSP and buy another rental that cash flowed $700 a month. So I created two assets paying me over $1,000 a month with none of my own money in an unorthodox way. Another turnkey? Another turnkey. This time it was a duplex. And it was netting seven hundred dollars a month. So where were you finding these turkey properties? Um, storehouse and Stu and David. You remember in Milwaukee? Mm -hmm. They were selling those. I was buying them from them. Oh, terrific! And when did you discover some figure flipping? So that. So now, okay. So now I've had to create enough capital to have these big down payments to buy these. Mm -hmm. And you know, you can't do that and you can't scale that. Like I can't get a lot of rentals doing that. So I I knew I needed to learn, I needed skills. Like I needed to find houses cheap and be able to fix them up and create value and then refinance them out. And I also needed to be able to, to raise private money so that I could go buy them cash, fix them up, and then refinance that money out and have rentals. Kill and so much personal uh, loan credit with the bank, right? 